hello there. Welcome to south of France. <laughs> I'm not that awkward on film now. Here we are in the beautiful, the famous, the yacht filled south of France, AKA SOF, Côte d'Azur, or the French Riviera. All these pretentious names you've grown to love. Um, my friend Darren and I, fellow yacht chef, uh, we're gonna go to his place and uh, we're going to gather some food to cook for our friends Ed, Jess, and Hannah, and Ed and Jess's two lovely kids, and Jack the dog. So it's a story of two chefs coming together. No. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, cooking some food together, laughing together, talking some shit, giving each other grief, and uh, scavenging around the south of France for crucial ingredients needed. But come along, let's go cook some food with some yacht chefs. Yeah, we want a fighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. You wouldn't want to bump into him. Ah, that actually was really sharp. Take your dick right off. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. orders food and it shows up, but shh, if we watch him, we can watch him select things. Select things by hand. Oh, yes, yes. Read it in, read it in. And reject it. <laughs> no good. Menus coming to life. Uh, we got grilled sea bass and octopus, a little green samphire, black pasta, radish. We got three colors going on there, amazing. Fresh peas, uh, chicken velouté, and asparagus tips. Just the tips, children, just the tips. Surf and turf. <laughs> Surf and turf. Wagyu ribeye, uh, Larry lobster, Larry lobster, baby carrot. Baby turnip, black garlic, courgette flour, shimiji mushrooms, and a black truffle sauce. Beautiful. Alright, what can I do, chef? You can feel the water. Great escape. Ah, and look, Darren has prepared your murder cauldron. I want to speak about Larry. You know Larry, Larry the Lobster. So, uh, Larry's with us in the galley as we were prepping throughout the, uh, throughout the day and, and prepping up Darren's menu. Um, we got to know Larry. Larry was a complicated entity on this planet. Larry had made mistakes. Larry had paid for those mistakes. Larry had learned from those mistakes. And the more we got to know him, the more time we spent uh, 
we just appreciated the, the wisdom of, of learning from your mistakes, you know? And, and, and Larry, he'd made a few. He'd been incarcerated, he'd been to lobster jail. And uh, some, some very unfortunate things happened to Larry in lobster jail. But Darren, uh, he made a very, very hot and quick uh, murder cauldron for Larry and rest in peace. I'll never forget you, Larry. Larry, you changed me. Derek, can you get off our station? Yeah, so we've got the coat glass to close here. We've got some nice black garlic here. It's a really nice product. Fermented for a few weeks. Garlic actually turns black and it is delicious. We've also, like I said, scavenged. It's it's lean out there. We got some black truffles from Australia. I think Darren just had them in the back seat of his car. Yeah. He just found yeah. them. <laughs> Never leave home without a truffle. <laughs> Two bulbs of black garlic. Basil. In. Aioli. In. Love you, Gordo. Shut it! Oh, the struggle is real trying to get this thick stuff into one of these. Watch me try to figure this out. So, so what Darren did here is really cool. He, he put all these slits in here. Uh, that's going to prevent the, um, the skin from curling up and giving you a really fucked up finished product. We haven't talked about this yet, but I guarantee he's going he's gonna to render that skin and it's going to get nice and crispy. Yeah, we're going uh, to we're gonna pan fry the sea bass, but it's going to be perfectly crispy, golden, perfectly flat because of the scoring. Right. So, sea bass has been seasoned with a nice sea salt. Got in a warm pan here with some olive oil. We go Pief de, la, Pief de la Resistance there, Japanese A5 Wagyu cube roll, Kagoshima precinct. That's a very, very good piece of beef. Right, so basically, I'm going to try to get uniform portions out of this. We're going to use the fat for something, we're going to save it, and then all the scraps are going to be for like steak and eggs, a little breakfast. Very hot. Very hot. And Wagyu in. Right, Gordon? When I put the Wagyu in, you're like, oh, it's a dry pan. There's so much fat in this stuff. And it's really flavorful fat, so I just typically always put it in a dry pan. I'll show you what comes out. Boom. Look at that crust. Nice and even. You can smell that Wagyu fat as well. Hello, Jack. Hello. Hello, hello. Henry. What's happening? Who is it? Hi, Jack. What's going on, Henry? I taught you how to spell penis. Do you remember that, Henry? Do you want to have an adorable time? young man? <laughs> oh, there's number two. All right, then. You're looking Come for the adorable in. young man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go in the swings later? Say hello. Hi. You say bonjour. Ah, uh, bonjour, monsieur.
that was dinner. I hope you enjoyed that little intimate dinner where two yacht chefs come together, collaborate, cook some food for some friends, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't like and subscribe. Don't do it. Don't you dare smash or tickle that like button. Mm -hmm.